Thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to discuss commercial arithmetic, and that is a commission. In number 17, we are told that uh, a saleswoman is paid a basic salary of 18,000 Kenya shillings per month for selling laptops marked at 45,000 Kenya shillings each. In addition, she is paid commission at the rate given below. So we have rates of commission between 0 and 500,000, there is 0% commission. Between 500,000 and 1 to 750,000 Kenya shillings, there is 3% commission, just as shown. Then we have a between 750,000 and 1 up to 1 million, there is 5% commission. And finally, between or anything above a million, there is a commission of 8%. During a certain month, she sold 30 laptops at 11 and one over nine percent discount calculate part one the amount of commission she earned that month it's good for us to first of all get what we call total sales so for us to get total sales then we're going to take 30 laptops multiplied by 45,000 kenya shillings which is the price of each or the marked price of each. Therefore, I'm multiplying 45,000 by 30 laptops, and this is giving me 1,350,000 Kenya shillings. Something else we should know is that uh, this lady did not receive all this amount because she gave a discount amounting to 11 and 1 out of nine percent so she didn't receive all these sales so she gave a discount and now that is what we should calculate first and we say the discount is going to be when we take a, this is a hundred over nine so percent means of a nine of hundred again of this amount which is one three five zero thousand and this discount is going to be when we multiply this by 100 out of uh, 900 we're going to get when i take a one three five zero thousand multiplied by 100 out of 900 this is going to be 150 thousand therefore this is the discount she gave out that means the net sales the sales she's going to receive is when we take one that he, 100 and one million three hundred and fifty thousand and we subtract one hundred and fifty thousand this is going now to give us the sales she's having so one three five minus 150,000 we're going to get I'm taking a 1 million 350,000 minus 150,000 this is going to give us exactly 1.2 million or rather 1 million 200,000 Therefore, now we're going to give her what we call commission now based on this amount. According to the table, the first 500, there is no commission. But between 500,000 and 750,000, there is 250,000. So the first 250,000, we give a commission of 3%. So when we give 3% commission for the first 250, the commission is going to be 7,500. Then between 750 and 1 million, there lies a, another 250,000. Now we give 5%. And this is going to be, when we take 250,000 at the rate of 5%, this is going to give us 12,500,000. 
Now, beyond 1 million, there is 200,000. The rate is going to be 8%. So this is going to be, when we take 200,000 times 8%, this gives us 16,000. So now the total commission for the sales is going to be, when we take 7,500, then we add 12,500, and finally we add 16,000. This is going to give us 36,000. 36,000 Kenya shillings. That is the total commission she earned that month. The next is our total earnings that month. So there is now a commission of 36,000 from the sales. But remember, she also gets what we call a basic salary of 18,000. So that is what we're going to add here. 18,000. Therefore, Kenya shillings, when we had 18,000, we're going to get 54,000. Kenya shillings. So that is the, the total earnings for the month. The next question, part B, is telling us the following month, the saleswoman monthly salary was increased by 10%. Our total earnings that month were 74 or 77,400. Calculate the total amount of sales of laptops that month. Calculate the total amount of sales of laptops that month. Therefore, what you should know is that uh, <clears throat> due to the 10% increment in the basic salary, the salary is now shooting from 18,000. When we take 110% of this, we need to get 18,000 times 110%, 19,800. 18,800 Kenya shillings. That means now we can obtain the commission this month. When we take 77,400 and we subtract 19,800, we're going to get the commission because total sales is inclusive of both basic salary and the unknown commission. Basic salary has been determined, the new basic salary due to the 10% increment. Now we can get the commission. We can get the commission. Therefore, when I take 77,400 and I subtract 19,800, then I'm going to have 57,600. Kenya shillings. This is the amount from commissions. Remember, we have to calculate the total amount of sales of laptops that month. It's good for us to know that uh, total sales, if this is the total commission, it means there is the commission according to the first question here which is from the amount before 1,000. The amount before 1,000, and that is a 7,500 and 12,500. This is before we arrive at the first million. And that is the, the commission she's going to earn. 7,500 plus 12,500. This is 20,000. So when we take now, so this is 20,000. When we take now from 57,600, we subtract 20,000. Then we're going to have, when we take 57,600 and we subtract 20,000, we're going to have 37,600. Now this is the amount of commission attained from the amount which is above the first million. 
So this is 8% of a certain figure. That means we can get the 100%. So 8% is 37,600. That means we can get 100%. This is going to be 37,600 times 100 out of 8. So when we multiply this by 100 out of 8, and we take 37,600 times 100 out of 8, we're going to get 470. Thousand. Therefore, the amount which is above a million is 470,000 Kenya shillings. This is to mean now the total sales are going to be beyond 1 million. Beyond 1 million, there is only 470,000. This means we have 1 million 470,000. Kenya shillings. This is now going to be the total sales of laptops that month. Then we are told in part two that uh, the percentage discount she allowed that month per laptop if 35 pieces were sold. If 35 pieces were sold. So if she was to give without discounts, she was to collect when we take 35 laptops at a marked price of 45,000 per laptop, so 35 times 45,000, this lady would have gotten 1,575,000. But now she collected only 1,470,000. That means there is a discount which has been issued. Therefore, we should get the discount itself now. The discount is going to be when we take one, 470, we subtract it from the figure above there. Then we're going to have 105. So this is the discount which has been issued. Therefore, we can say 100% of expected sales is 1,575,000. Five, what percentage is equivalent to 105,000 Kenya shillings? So this is going to be 105,000 multiplied by 100 out of 100 and or 1 million 575 thousand so we can get this percentage multiply this by 100 then we divide by 1 575 thousand this is going to be 6 percent into that therefore that is the percentage discount which was given out or which was allowed by this lady in this particular selling thank you so much for following subscribe and share